look at that it's filling up nicely compared to what i had before do you remember this area it was so smooth but look at that now obviously for, forget the grays but you can see it's all filled up and this area as well is growing you know but i still have that area that needs to be addressed um but i'm hey guys it's your girl vanessa here welcome back to another video we're finally finally recording this video guys if i tell you how much of a struggle it has been since this morning to get this video recorded today with my kids my baby just crying and ugh, literally the bean collection making so much noise but hey we're finally getting it done yeah let's get round to it so if you're if it's your first time on this channel thank you so much for stopping by my name is Vanessa I make natural hair videos lots and lots of DIY for natural hair so if you're interested in this kind of content be sure to click that subscribe button and become a member of the family and if you're returning thank you so much I mean I'm so grateful to have you guys subscribe to my channel watch my videos like comment like all of that I'm so so grateful it really means a lot so thank you so much for your love and your support and yeah may god bless you basically bless you abundantly for uh basically just being so generous in general so let's get into the video today's video has actually been requested by a few of my subscribers but before them requesting this video i actually thought about making it but i was just waiting for the right time to do it um I didn't want to record it now because I'm not quite where I want to be, you know. But hey, it has been it has been requested, and I thought, yeah, why not deliver? So here it is today, guys. I am going to share with you basically how I regrew my edges. Um, so I'm going to share with you basically everything that I've done, you know, everything that I've been taking uh, that has helped in the process. So if you're interested in this kind of video, be sure to stick around and watch till the end of the video. Watch till the end because you don't want to miss out on any good information that I'm going to put your way. Before we get into basically how I did it, uh, I'm just going to share with you guys some of the reasons why, you know, your hair might be falling out or thinning out and it, i think it's quite important that we know what could be causing this problem because if you know what is causing a problem you're more likely to uh, fix it or to avoid it next time so yeah let's just talk about a few of the causes now one of the causes that can usually cause your hair to thin out or fall out is stress like you won't believe how much stress can actually impact your hair growth or your hair journey as a whole it's so funny because most natural hair people don't actually talk about it but i think it's one of those things that we definitely need need to emphasize on because to be honest on a regular or normal day we all go through one type of stress or another to be honest so and that can usually affect how our hair grows and basically how we're able to retain it on our scalp and there are ways that you can actually uh, relieve it so things like exercising is great you know uh speaking to that loved one that you haven't spoken to in a very long time you know going for a walk or maybe just listening to music i find music really therapeutic for me sometimes cleaning the house okay cleaning just take that broom and just start cleaning deep clean everywhere you'll see that it makes you so much more relaxed than you were before so avoid stress if you can or try to i mean find ways to help the situation uh, if you are experiencing stress now the other thing as well that is quite common in women is basically childbirth like postnatal shedding is real guys natal shedding as well and that was my case i lost quite a lot of my hair and my edges edges uh through postnatal shedding i have a seven month old baby my hair started to fall out when she was about i think she was about four months um so yeah quite early on i started noticing all of my hair not all of it but the majority of my hair falling out and also my edges were thinning out a lot so i was seeing um quite a lot i was pulling my hair like this guys and it was coming out and this place was so smooth like what i mean smooth i'm going to show you a video in a bit so that's basically what i experienced and most of us who have children experience that 
I knew it was coming because uh, I wasn't a first time mom. Um, the first time I did experience postnatal shedding as well, so I knew I was going to get it at some point, anyways. So, but it's just that it happened a bit quicker than I expected. But hey, that's life sometimes. Um, so the other thing as well is certainly doing certain styles that could cause your hair to thin out. Like perhaps if you're doing braids a lot and you're dragging your your edges. So I see some people sometimes with braids and it's so tight. I'm like, whoa, how are you breathing in that? So if that's you, please stop doing that because in the long in the long run you are going to uh, lose your hair around here because this hair is actually quite fragile. You can make the rest of your hair tight if you want to, although I don't recommend it. But this area, trust me. If you do it on a regular, it's definitely gonna fall out. Like, it's unavoidable. The other thing as well is basically wearing wigs with glue. I know wigs are very common now. You know, if you are gluing your hair, just be a bit careful about how you do it, just so you don't actually, I mean, when you take it out, so you don't actually end up ripping this area. Um, so also, genetics, you know, some people are more predisposed to having thinner edges because it tends to run in the family or I don't know and usually that type of problem is a bit difficult to fix because it's just in your genes I guess uh, but you can certainly try these things and see you know if it works for you and sometimes other things as well like strong medication like cancer medications can actually cause your hair to fall out and like I said it's sometimes hard to also to grow that but we'll talk about basically postnatal shedding because that's basically what I experience. But if you also follow in the other categories like hairstyles, vitamins, stress and all that, you can definitely do something about it. And hopefully the things I'm going to share with you will help you kind of get that those edges to sort of be back to normal again. Before we dive into basically what I did guys, I'm going to get you to watch the video that I made when I was going through postnatal shedding. I actually made this video here. Yeah, I posted it and i just felt really insecure about it again and i just when i took the video down because i was like i know there's so many haters on the internet let's be completely real and i wasn't prepared to have to experience that because even just doing my normal wash day somebody came and commented and said my hairline look horrible i was like you know what i'm gonna take this video down for now once i've regrown my edges i can actually use that to show people how i was able to do it so i took the video down and this is pretty much it this is what my edges look like when i did go through postnatal shedding so get to watch it and then i'm going to show you what it looks like now so i'm going to talk about postnatal shedding oh <sighs> okay postnatal shedding is real guys like literally the amount of hair that you lose like is ridiculous in the space of time that it happens as well yeah I've, I've been losing my hair like my hair is falling out you know like i've lost so much hair in the past like two or three weeks the point where it's just it's just unbelievable guys like this is how much hair i've got from detangling my hair pretty much like i got this from detangling after i took i took out my cornrows i had those cornrows for like two weeks and then I decided to take them down and detangle. And this is how much hair I got, guys. Like, this is a lot of hair. Like, it's ridiculous. Sorry, mama. Sorry, I'm carrying baby. So, in case you hear, like, baby noise. Yeah, this is so much hair. Like, it's ridiculous. You know, two weeks, this is how much hair I got. You know, yeah, my hair is falling out. It's falling from the roots. Um, so, you will actually get, like, actual long strands of hair. Not, like, those small ones. So um, I'm holding baby, so I can't really show you, but you can sort of roughly see how, like, you know, they, they're actually long strands. It doesn't look like a lot. It might not look like a lot on camera, but like now in real life, it does look, <laughs> it is a lot, you know. And if you lose this much hair in the space of two weeks, um, not due to disease perhaps or, or or childbirth then it's i would say it's a, it's, a, it's a bit abnormal you know we all shed hair and that's normal but we don't want this amount of shedding okay <laughs> not in two weeks time especially yeah the other thing as well is my edges have left the chat guys i've literally got no edges right now like look look at my edges like they're so empty you know like just feeling it I can actually feel my scalp like it feels so smooth you know like literally it feels really really smooth because all my hair all the hair i had at the front is completely gone so i'm edgeless right now 
so now that you watch that video guys this is basically what my edges are looking like right now look at that it's filling up nicely compared to what i had before do you remember this area it was so smooth but look at that now obviously for, forget the grays but you can see it's all filled up and this area as well is growing you know but i still have that area that needs to be addressed um but i can't really complain like it's been two months and i think i've done pretty well so yeah the reason why i didn't want to share it as yet is just because i wanted to grow it a little bit more before actually coming out with it but you can certainly see that it's such a big difference okay and it only took me about two months to get this i haven't been i wasn't really consistent at the beginning what i was doing but when i started getting a bit more consistent i noticed that it started to fill up so it's looking pretty good now and i'm very happy with it so let's get into basically what i did now the first thing that i did and i think you should do is basically scalp massages okay i know i talk a lot about scalp massages guys if you've been watching me from before you will definitely see that i always emphasize on massaging your scalp it's so important scalp massages actually promote hair, uh, hair growth because it increases the blood flow to your scalp nourishes your follicles and that's what is causing your hair to grow i will use this oil okay this is my fenugreek growth oil i made a video about this as well i will put it somewhere up here for you guys you can check it out so i will mix this with um castor oil and then before i actually go ahead with the oil i would use my fenugreek and aloe vera spray so i will usually just spray it all over my hair spray it on my edges just to soften it up and then i'm gonna go with the oil and massage it in tie my hair and then go to sleep now alongside tying your hair actually i think it's worth talking about it i found that when i used to tie my the way i used to tie my hair before was actually harming my edges and i didn't actually realize until i then realized that oh this is actually causing trouble i used to tie my hair let me show you how i used to tie it so basically most of us use like a satin scarf or like a bonnet to sleep now if you are using a scarf it's quite important that when you're tying your hair you don't make it too tight around here so i used to just put my scarf on like this bring it to the back all the way forward so like that okay and then i'm going to make a knot at the front and i found that every time i tied my hair like that when i woke up in the morning i had the line like i had the line on my edges here and that's how i knew that i was putting so much pressure in that area because when you're sleeping you're constantly moving um your head and you know sometimes sleep on your side and if it's so tight here you are actually putting pressure on that area and hey probably it's probably not going to grow there or the hair that you've got there is probably going to end up falling out so be quite careful with the way you tie it so the way i do it now is i do it from the back okay and i found that that makes so much of a difference and i even sleep better like sometimes i used to get so uncomfortable like you know as if i had a headache at night but it was it was literally because of my scarf so what i would normally do now i would put it from the back and bring it forward like this and then take it back and make the knot at the back instead okay so i found that that way is so much easier oh when i tell you guys so much easier my hair feels i don't get that line in the morning anymore and i i can feel less tension as well on my on my scalp and things like that it just makes things so much easier for me and i think it has contributed to me growing my hair you know in 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 the long run so watch out how you basically tie your hair when you go to sleep that's really important now the other thing as well that i've been taking is multivitamins i do take multivitamins this one a to z it's got biotin in it um you can get it from like the pharmacy or just a regular store um so multivitamins are really good at providing your body with basically all the vitamins that you need to be honest because sometimes you can't get every single thing from food um biotin is actually quite good at making your hair strong um if you are to take any multivitamin i suggest that you take the one that has biotin in it there are some that are uh, made especially just for hair and nails you can take that as well if you want to um because it's got biotin a good amount of biotin in it that will make your hair stronger so stronger hair just means it's less likely to break and you're more, more likely to retain it as well 
so that's that's that i also take um omega-3 fish oil um again is again one of the great way of promoting a healthy scar because it, you know oil is good for your sebum which is basically the natural oil that you produce on your scalp and we know a healthy scalp just means good environment for hair to grow so that's why taking these supplements can definitely help you know promote the general circulation or general health of your body and in turn you know help with your hair growing now the other thing as well is basically exercising like exercising is great i touched on that just at the beginning i exercise on the regular to be completely honest because you know i'm trying to lose weight i've been on this weight loss journey since having my daughter and trust me guys it's not easy to lose weight oh gosh especially not after two kids i mean the first one my tummy didn't look bad at all when i look back at those pictures i'm like whoa i wish i could get half this again but obviously yeah at the time it felt like it was so terrible but now it's like whoa i need to work a bit harder so yeah since i've been trying to lose weight i have been exercising a lot and exercising as well is great at promoting hair growth because it increases the blood flow to your scalp and we know more blood flow just means that all the goodies like all the good nutrient that you're putting in your body is actually going to your scalp to nourish it and to promote you know hair your and to and to help your hair to grow so you don't need to do anything crazy like going to spend two hours at the gym you can just work out at home like 30 minutes i actually used to do workout videos on this channel but i noticed that it wasn't really getting a lot of views so i stopped doing it but if it's something that you want to see like fitness related stuff i'm definitely happy to uh, to uh, reinstate that so please let me know in the comment section guys if this is the kind of thing that you want to see fitness and maybe sometimes motherhood as well which is basically the idea that i had behind this channel before you know i started growing you guys started subscribing for hair videos so let me know if there's any other type of video that you want to see um now the other thing or the final thing that i'm going to leave you guys with is basically your diet okay now there is this saying that says you are what you eat that is definitely true it's not always easy to eat right it's not always easy to eat healthy but you can make an effort towards it okay i don't eat healthy all of the time i'm being completely honest with you guys and that's probably why you know losing weight is taking a while okay but i am trying my hardest at being consistent with it eating healthy every single time being a bit more conscious about what i eat so you need to reduce sugar intake trust me it's not only going to be good for your waistline but it is also going to be good for your hair so um yeah you need to eat green leafy vegetables like spinach kale um those are really good broccoli as well it's just amazing because they're full of antioxidant i've got a video on this channel where i go into the nitty gritty details of the foods that can actually promote your hair uh, promote hair growth so i'm going to link it somewhere up here but in a nutshell you just need to make sure that you eat right okay so balanced diet enough uh protein you know meat um you know uh oily fish like salmon mackerel do those are really really good things that you know are generally good for our body and in return it will cause your hair to grow also beans i love beans guys i can eat kind of beans like every day <laughs> oh my god i can eat kind of beans every day and i don't mind it that's how much i love beans and beans are high in biotin you know if you're looking for that super food that would give you a good supply of biotin definitely consider eating beans like kidney beans so yeah this is pretty much it guys i do hope that this video is going to help someone in some way you that asked the question i hope that you know you you can benefit from this um so yeah you can apply this not only just to grow your edges but to grow your hair in general because hair doesn't just grow in a particular area if your hair is growing here it is also growing there okay so uh in general it's growing everywhere so these are really great tips if you are trying to get there so i hope that you have liked the video and if it did guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and leave a comment as well i read them all and i do try to answer them all as well so make sure that you do that and yeah and i will catch you in my next video which will be very soon so do take care bye